Now, we have some missing number addition and subtraction problems. First, 246 plus something equals 539. So whenever we have a missing number addition, we always use subtraction to find our missing number. So we need to work out 539 minus 246. 9 minus 6 is 3, 4 is larger than 3, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 13 minus 4 is 9, and 4 minus 2 is 2, so our missing number is 293. Now, something plus 293 equals 562. So again, we've got a missing number addition, and it doesn't matter whether it's the first or the second number that's missing, we always use subtraction to find our missing number. 3 is larger than 2, so go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 12 minus 3 is 9. But now, 9 is larger than 5, so again, we go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front. 15 minus 9 is 6, 4 minus 2 is 2. So that gives us 269. So now we have a missing number subtraction. Something minus 305 equals 276. So here it's the first number of our subtraction that's missing. So we can remember that subtraction problems can be read backwards as addition problems. So to find our missing number we can work out 276 plus 305. 6 plus 5 is 11, so 1, 1. 1 plus 7 plus 0 is 8, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So we get 581. Now, 741 minus something equals 573. So this time, it's the second number of our subtraction that's missing. And if it's the second number rather than the first number that's missing, we still use subtraction to find our missing number. So even though it's a subtraction, we're still going to subtract. We can work out 741 minus 573, and that will give us our missing number. So we have 1 minus 3, but 3 is larger than 1, so we go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 11 minus 3 is 8. But now we have 3 minus 7, so again we need to exchange. We need to go to the left, 1 less, 1 in front, 13 minus 7 is 6, and 6 minus 5 is 1. So our missing number here is 168. So now, let's take a closer look at these questions. First, we had 246 plus something equals 539. So here, we've shown 539, because we have 500s, 3 tens, and 9 ones. But now, let's colour 3 ones, 9 tens, and 2 hundreds in red. So we can colour three of our ones in red. Now we need to colour nine tens in red. But we only have three tens, so to do that, let's exchange one of our hundreds for ten tens. Then we can colour nine in red. And we can colour two of our hundreds in red as well. So now, if we only look at our blue blocks, we have two hundreds, four tens, and six ones. And if we look at our red blocks, we have two hundreds, nine tens, and three ones. So that's why our missing number was 293. Then we have something plus 293 equals 562. So here we have five hundreds, six tens, and two ones. Let's colour nine of our ones in red. Notice to do that, we needed to exchange one of our tens for ten ones. So we can colour nine in red. 
Now, let's color six of our tens in red. Because we only have five tens, again, let's exchange one of our hundreds for ten tens so that we can color six of them in red. And we can color in two of our hundreds. So that's 269 colored in. But if we look at what we have in blue, we have 293. Because in blue, we have two hundreds, nine tens, and three ones. Then we had some subtraction problems. So first, something minus 305 equals 276. Here, we've shown 581 altogether. But you can see that in blue, we have 276 because we have two hundreds, seven tens, and I know it's part of a tens block, but you can count six individual ones as well. And we have 305 because we have three hundreds, and altogether we have five ones, one here and four here. Then we had 741 minus something is 573. So here we've shown 741 because we have seven hundreds, four tens, and one one. If we exchange one of our tens for ten ones, we can color in eight of those ones. Then we can color in six tens if we first exchange one of our hundreds for ten tens and we can color in 100. So that's 168 colored in red. But notice, if we take away what's in red, we're left with 573, because in blue, we have 500s, seven tens, and three ones.